Are you looking for the best MMO gaming mouse? In this video, we will break down the top MMO gaming mice on the market. Before we get started with our video detailing the best MMO gaming mice on the market, we have included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting off at number 1, we have the Corsair Scimitar Pro. Corsair is renowned for bringing you some of the most reliable, hardy, sought-after hardware products your money can buy. That's the sort of pedigree you get when you look to purchase from Corsair. The Scimitar Pro is their flagship MMO gaming mouse, which comes to shelves with superb build quality and fantastic in-game performance. Firstly, let's talk about design. This thing looks cool. I'm not usually a huge fan of the MMO mouse style, however, this one actually looks pretty good. I think that's down to the metal chassis which sits under the plastic shell. It almost looks like some kind of racing car. Corsair has designed the Scimitar Pro with ergonomics in mind, giving you a number pad that is curved inward to allow your thumb to sit more freely. The shell is shaped in such a way that allows your palm to sit comfortably for long periods of time, but also gives you enough grip in those moments, where accuracy is required. The sensor is a custom, gaming-grade PMW3367 optical sensor, which offers superb accuracy and responsiveness. The mouse has also been custom-designed to work on almost any surface. It comes with an impressive 17 buttons, which are all mechanical, meaning they aren't going to fail on you anytime soon. Uniquely, the number pad can be moved by up to 8 millimeters, allowing gamers to find the absolutely perfect position. This mouse has a ton of different features, all geared towards MMO players. If you're big into your MOBA or MMO games, this mouse should be high on your considerations list. At number 2, we have the Razer Naga Trinity. Razer, once again, has an entry into one of our best of mouse guides. This time, it's the Razer Naga Trinity. This mouse features 19 buttons, and some newly improved rubber grips on the side for increased accuracy and stability. It comes to shelves weighing a mere 120 grams, meaning it's one of our lightest mice on offer in the MMO category. An impressive feat when you start to understand how many features this mouse has to offer. The unique feature of this mouse, and the reason it's been branded the Trinity, are the three interchangeable button panels on the left-hand side of the mouse. It comes with a two-button layout, perfect for FPS a circular 7-button configuration, and a more popular MMO number pad option. All of the buttons are customizable via the Razer Synapse software, as are the RGB light zones. The Naga Trinity comes with a 5G optical sensor that offers 16,000 DPI and a fantastic accuracy to boot, meaning if you do decide to opt for the 2-button, FPS-friendly button layout for FPS gaming, the sensor is going to give you excellent accuracy for in-game performance as well. As with all Razer products, the design and aesthetic of this mouse are extremely attractive. However, price is something that certainly needs to be considered. At number 3, we have the Logitech G600. Logitech always seems to feature in our best mouse guides, and for good reason. They are one of the most reputable brands in the peripheral game. They constantly provide us with new hardware offerings that reach and exceed our user requirements. The Logitech G600 is the perfect example of this. The G600 comes to the table with 20 buttons, all of which can be customized in the Logitech Hub. It's the ideal mouse for MMO players that require large, complex commands to be input rapidly. The buttons do take a bit of time to get used to, especially if you aren't used to the MMO mice. More impressively though, is the easy shift button the G600 is equipped with. This allows you to toggle with a secondary button profile, meaning you technically have up to 39 buttons at your disposal. Think of all of those orcs you'll be slaying. The sensor in this mouse is the Avago S9808 laser sensor, which, even though it's now outdated, still does a superb job at giving you pinpoint accuracy while in-game. One of the great features this mouse is armed with is the onboard memory, which allows users to access their button profiles without the need for software, a great little plug-and-play feature. The design of this mouse is fairly simple, yet it holds some level of elegance thanks to the gentle slopes and contours. The ergonomics of this mouse feel pretty good, however, it is on the large side. If you have particularly small hands, you might struggle to make full use of the number pad. Saying that though, the matte finish provides decent levels of grip, no matter how moist your palms get on balmy summer nights. Overall, I really enjoyed using the G600. Regardless of the few flaws this mouse has, I still think it showcases some good value and is ultimately a top MMO mouse respectively. At number 4, we have the Rokat Tyon. Rokat are no strangers to versatility. They seem to have a peripheral for every possible scenario and background. The Tyon is their flagship MMO gaming mouse, and one of the better products to come out of their extensive crop. The first thing that struck me about this mouse was the design. It's very Rokat. It has the classic swaying shape when looked at from above. However, that changes when you start to check this thing out from other angles. The buttons protrude from the shell of the mouse quite considerably, giving the Tyon a much more angular appearance. Ergonomically, the design feels great in my hand. I have quite large hands, and it seems to fill my palm quite easily. It's definitely a mouse for larger-handed gamers out there. 
The tie-on has 14 programmable buttons, which can all be used for in-game commands and binds. That's not enough, you say? Well, Rocat has equipped the tie-on with an easy shift button that can toggle between mouse button profiles. What that means is each one of the buttons can have two different functions, fundamentally giving this mouse 27 buttons. The sensor in this mouse is the Laser Sensor R3, which is pretty good considering it's laser and starting to become outdated. As most will know, the best sensors currently available utilize optical technology. However, for MMO, the sensor does a cracking job. The tie-on comes with an extremely robust 5.9-foot braided USB cable and some well-designed skates to allow your mouse to work on almost any surface. It has an onboard 576 KB memory, which you can save your button profiling and other functions. It also has some subtle RGB which takes the aesthetics to the next level. All in all, not your ordinary MMO mouse, but one that does the job extremely well. And for our final pick at number 5, we have the SteelSeries Rival 500. SteelSeries is one of the biggest names in the peripheral gaming sphere. They have some of the most well-known mice within their ranks, mice that include the Rival 650, Rival 310, and Sensei 310. That being said, their Rival 500 is the closest thing to an FPS MMO hybrid we recommend on this list. It actually offers excellent performance in both, something you rarely see these days. The guys at SteelSeries say that the button layout on the Rival 500 has been custom designed with ergonomics in mind. They have scrapped the ever-popular 12-button grid layout for something that is more suited to your thumb's natural resting position. Each button is easily accessible and can be pressed with little actuation force. The Rival 500 has an impressive 15 buttons, more than enough for any bidding MMO player. The buttons have been designed in such a way that promotes both MMO and FPS gaming. Impressive. SteelSeries have equipped the Rival 500 with a cool tactile alert feature, which actually vibrates to specific in-game actions. You can alter the intensity of the alert and how frequently they occur. The switches are rated at 30 million clicks, which, as far as switches go, is pretty decent. The mouse offers excellent grip, along with cool RGB, which can all be customized in the user-friendly software. The Rival 500 isn't our best MMO mouse, but is certainly a top recommendation for someone who wants a more all-round product. So that sums up our top MMO gaming mice of 2020. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.